Hey guys, how is everybody doing tonight? Justin Newton named the offensive coordinator for the Denver Broncos. Um, this is an intriguing hire uh, for Denver. Um, I really like Clint Kubiak as the quarterback's coach, but Justin Newton is a guy that, you know, worked in the, um, in the room in Green Bay. In fact, I'm going to pull up his resume. You know, he's a guy, I believe, from Pennsylvania, you know, up by Pittsburgh. Um, pretty hardworking guy, you know, a little bit younger, like he's about 38 years old. Um, but for him to be an offensive coordinator over Clint Kubiak is certainly interesting because Clint Kubiak called plays in Minnesota. Now, Uten, he luckily has been an offensive coordinator before. Uten is actually from the Philadelphia suburb of Doylestown. So he went to Central Bucks. He was at Syracuse. That is probably where he met Nathaniel Hackett. Nathaniel Hackett might have been an overlap with him at Syracuse in 2007 to Doug Marone's staff. Um, wow. He was at Westfield High School, and let me Google where Westfield is. This is in Harris County, Texas. So, um, wow, good for him. He was in Westfield High School. He was an offensive coordinator and an offensive line coach, so that is totally awesome. And then somehow Dan Quinn in 2016 found out about Justin Newton, so he really has an interesting history. You know, and then he was with Kyle Shanahan as an offensive assistant. And then that's probably how Matt LaFleur, how he was referred to Matt LaFleur. Because in 2019, he becomes the Green Bay Packers tight ends coach. And that's who he is. He's the tight ends coach and Nathaniel Hackett. So they have continuity working together. Now, I'm a little bit worried because this guy's never called plays at the NFL level. He's only called plays in high school. You do have Kubiak. I believe that you got to get an experience experienced offensive mind like maybe a North Turner you have to get somebody that's like a very experienced coordinator that can kind of oversee the operation here I guess Nathaniel Hackett say, says that he's going to call plays anyway so Uten is basically another offensive assistant a lot is going to be made of just how efficient the coaching staff is going to be in Denver meaning how good is Nathaniel Hackett going to be all right how good is Hack going to be you know Hack's been an offensive of coordinator with Blake Bortles and and so on and so forth. Are they going to keep Drew Locke? How is Hackett? Is he going to keep that high energy? Are the players going to really like playing for him? So, you know, again, the defensive coordinator in Denver, we're also going to analyze that. Uh, as well. But Justin Newton, you know, it's interesting. He's a high school coach. He worked with Matt LaFleur. Seems like a hard worker. Seems like a decent guy. He's an assistant. But guess what? You know, Clint Kubiak, you know, I really like. You know, he's a really good play caller. But eventually, you sometimes want to bring in offensive coordinators that have differing viewpoints, that come from different places than just your, your initial place in Green Bay. You look at Mike Kafka and what he's going to bring to the New York Giants, or you look at Kevin O'Connell coming in with Sean McVay, you know, that's a little bit different. Or Raheem Morris and Wade Phillips, sometimes you want to intersect and have different ideas and have people come in and bring different perspectives into your coaching building so that you're just not just rattling off the same scheme and the same structure. So Nathaniel Hackett's very confident in what he's going to do. It's obviously going to be a tall task in the NFC West um, or the AFC West. I am worried about Justin Newton uh, really being an offensive coordinator because I think that there's a lot of really qualified names that are still out there as offensive coordinators. Um, if they got somebody from another spot, even Mark Helfridge, um, trying to even think like Joe Brady as an offensive coordinator, you would have brought in some different approaches. Maybe you look at someone like Declan Doyle, who was with the New Orleans Saints as an assistant. Like You want to bring people in from different trees. And um, I know that it's continuity. So again, it's going to be all on Nathaniel Hackett. But I watched with Joe Judge. He brought in Freddie Kitchens, his buddy, and they didn't come up with any outside-of-the-box ideas. So um, I'm curious to see how it works. A lot of times you get people that you're familiar with working with, and Justin Newton certainly qualifies in this instance. It's exciting for him, 38 years old, guy who did it the right way, went through high school a long time, 
and um, and then got to the Falcons and impressed so much that LaFleur kept him around or, or recruited him to his staff. So it's going to be fascinating to see how Uten and Nathaniel Hackett handle this offense. Clint Kubiak, I think, is very, very qualified. I know that people, he would really get criticized for being a head coach candidate because his dad was a coach and they would just think it's nepotism. But I really do think that there's talent there with Clint Kubiak. I knew that George Patton and him at a prior relationship, so I'm pumped about Kubiak. Justin Newton, the offensive coordinator for Denver. Let's see how it happens. But a little skeptical, like I said. You know, again, not that experience, and again, the continuity or whatever. Um, but again, it's on Nathaniel Hackett. He's the guy calling the plays, so that's what's going to happen in Denver.